we're here. We got a Project 06 running. Now I believe this is the... I assume this is the latest version of the demo. I think this is demo 3? Right? Something like that. And, um... I'm using this with the, uh, with the good old PS4 controller. Because I don't have a 360 controller, so... Controller's not fully supported. Which isn't too bad. You know, that means I just gotta avoid some... Some levels, uh, where you actually have to use, um... Sonic's abilities and shit like that. But... Here, there's a couple things you want to check out. Game room. Over here... You can change a bunch of things, right? Uh, TGS Sonic, Tokyo Game Show demo. I believe this is the one with, uh... With Sonic doing his flips and shit? Right? So you can toggle that on and off. Uh, the spin effect... Uh, I'm gonna put that off because I want that off. The spin effect... That's going to be set to Adventure, Home and Reticle. That's going to be on because it actually makes everything looks cleaner. And it helps you more. The camera's fine. Jump dash type straight. Gym shoes type original. Custom. Alternate versions. I don't know. I think this is just like his looks and stuff. Nothing too crazy. Upgrade models on so you can see Sonic was upgrades and shit. Uh, UI customization. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, no. I kind of like how most of this is anyways. Right? So, we're not really going to mess with that. Test stage. Play the test stage. Now, one of the things you're going to notice is that the loading time's fucking way faster than uh the game. See? Just like that. Camera controls well. You can actually control Sonic, right? His jump isn't too bad. His spin dash. It's pretty awesome. Right? You can, uh, jump off your spin dash. Get some height. Right? We're gonna be using that later on in some of the... some of the levels. Spin dash is actually really good. And it doesn't take forever to, like, charge up your spin dash, and it goes for a pretty good while. That's nice. Here's his homing reticle. Right? Animations are smooth. There's very little slowdown. There might be slowdown here and there. Nothing too bad. Uh, Nuckies, how do I control you? Alright. Knuckles, you can control them too. This is why, this is exactly why I want the boost formula to be gone, so you can have more control like this. Like, yeah, you're not gonna be super fast, but let's be honest. Let's be honest with each other. When's the last time Sonic's been really fast in, like, his games? <laughs> right? Half the times they're just like, oh man, he's fast, but they never really tell you. Get him, Knuckles. Let me see if I can get... Knuckles to, like, climb a wall somewhere. Uh, Knuckles, I believe. He has some good workarounds. See? His combo is actually... His combo is something, you know? He probably still won't use it that much. Where's a wall that you can climb on, you son of a bitch? Oh, over here, probably. Alright. Here we go. He doesn't get stuck on the fucking wall, so that's great. Right? And this fucking dive goes way faster and it doesn't bounce around. That's nice. Uh, I got stuck on that. That's weird. What is this? Oh, this is one of those one-way tracks where, like, you know, this leads up to a ramp and shit. So, once you get on that, you can't really move yourself too much. That keeps you, uh, stationary. Not stationary, but, you know... Um, now here's the thing I'm talking about where it's not fully supported for, uh, 
PS4 controllers yet. It's only supported for, you know, mouse and keyboard and and um, 360 controllers. Because the shoulder buttons for the... See, they don't work properly. I tapped that like 50 times to get that to go on. And I can't turn it off whenever I want to. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the controller up to the microphone. I'm gonna tap the button. See? That's the one tap. That's a double tap. One, two, three. If I hold it, right? Nothing. Right? I think it activates when I move though, right? Yeah, see? And then when I try to turn it off, I really can't. It's really weird. It's weird. And that's only for if you're doing it with a PS4 controller. It's not fully supported. So, things like uh, Elise's Sonic Carrying Elise, you really won't have time to mess around with. And that also goes for Silver here. Where, uh, you know, you hold the trigger to use his ability, right? But since that doesn't work... Since that doesn't work, you can't really... Once you activate it, there's no way of going back. Unless you pick up something, I think? I think if you pick up something, then, uh... Then it might stop. Or something like that. Huh. Let me see if I can go find an object to pick up for silver. See if I can force this state to be shut down. By the way... Remember when we, uh, did Silver's playthrough? On the Sonic 06 playthrough, and I said, I said, why they make Silver slow? Why not just have him levitate around? This is exactly what I wanted. He doesn't have to be as fast as, Son as Sonic or Shadow, but have him levitate around. There's nothing wrong with this. This controls well. It's great. You know, I mean, the turning radius is wide, but it's nothing that will hinder you, right? Can I have something to pick up, please? Sonic, where are you? Sonic Tails, where are you guys? I need, I need, I need one of you guys to be here so I can switch characters. Where does this lead? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, this is nice. Oh wow. Well, let me go grab Silver again if he's around here somewhere. A fucking Sonic game where you can actually control Sonic? This is crazy, man. <laughs> Silver, where the fuck are you, man? I need you. I need to show off more shit with you. Fuck. I don't know where Silver's at. You over here, Silver? Where are you, buddy? What is this soundtrack, by the way? It's pretty good. It's pretty alright. It's pretty nice. I like it. It's not gonna... It's a little bit on the generic side, but that's fine. No, that's fine. Uh, Let's see. I'm going to head back over to the testing area because I want to grab silver. By the way, you saw those low times? Look at that. Fucking awesome. Alright, so silver's over here. Silver, buddy. Great. So he levitates around, you know, once he picks up speed, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, His jump. I mean, it's pretty much the same. His jump and his hover. His teleport, I believe, has been changed, so... Oh, shit. His teleport has been changed. The more you hold it, the faster he goes, the longer he goes, you know? Well, not the faster, but... He goes longer when you hold it. You know? So that's pretty good. Uh... Let's see. I know he has a standard attack. I believe it's the circle button? Yep. He has a Psychic Blast, which, thank fucking god, that's why when, uh, whenever I get in the, any places, any levels with Silver and I can't use the trigger because the controller's not fully supported, I can just use this, which is fucking fantastic and amazing, and I love it. He has a Psychic Blast thing, it shows you a radius, which is nice, but I'm pretty sure the radius is still longer than what it actually shows you, but it goes by faster. And, other than that, I think... He has another new ability, 
when he's like holding objects, but I can't really show that off because, you know. You know, I can't really do shit with Silver here. Let's see. What is this? Like loop de loops and shit? Does this put me on a path? Oh, that's weird. That's weird. There's still little camera bugs here and there, but it's not too bad. What's this about? Just how he interacts with, like, angles and shit? Yeah? Huh. Alright, well, let's head over. See if we can grab Tails, because I want to show some stuff with Tails, too. That they did to fix him up. They really fixed up Silver Nice, which is great. I love that. I love that they did this. Alright, Tails. Sonic, where are you guys at? Knuckles is over here. I don't know where the fuck Sonic is at. I don't know where Tails went either. Did Sonic and Tails just straight up disappear? There's Sonic and Elise. Knuckles. Where's Sonic? Like, regular Sonic. Is he up here? He's probably up here. We got some robots. Oh, you can angle that? Oh, that's awesome. So, like, let me get from, like, a higher height. I didn't know you can angle that. See, that's another fucking change that they made that I didn't know existed. Oh, man, you can control that. Not too much, but enough. Right? Good. I wonder if I hold down the button. Didn't Knuckles have, like, a charge punch or something in the original game? Oh, here it is. Oh, look at that. That's more controllable. That's nice. I like that. Knuckles is more playable. Too bad. Oh, he has a... Oh, they give him a homing thing, too. Too bad Knuckles doesn't have too many levels in the game. You play as him, like, a total of two times, I believe. Knuckles is pretty cool. I love Knuckles. Knuckles is great. There's Elise and Sonic. If I go to Silver, does fucking... Does Sonic and Tails just disappear? Oh, wait. Is that Tails down there? Oh, hey, Tails. Here we go. Alright, Tails. He still has his fucking sound effect, but... Okay, it went away. I guess it doesn't last there forever. So Tails, his flight meter, you can actually pay attention to it now. It actually depletes to tell you what you got. They had a sound effect for that, too. Uh, he has the dummy rings still, which, you know, still interact with, which kind of is weird. <laughs> I, would, I would rather if there weren't any dummy rings at all, if it was just like a bomb, just change it completely. Like, the animation completely. Because there's really, there's no really, re there's no reason for fake rings to appear. It's just unnecessary clutter that you really don't need. Um, and it just confuses the shit out of you, right? Well, not confuses, but, you know, because, whatever. Can it actually blow rings away? Like it did in the original game? No, it can't. Alright. I don't think it can interact with rings, so that's pretty good. You can drop bomb bombs. You can drop bombs, yeah. You can drop bombs. He has a nice little animation for that too. You know. Uh, what else does he have? You hold down the button. They give you. First of all, it doesn't go in the first person, right? They give you a nice camera, an camera, camera angle. I can't speak today. My ghetto ness is too much. They give you a nice camera angle, right? And a reticle, so you know where the fuck you're aiming. Uh, circle, he gets this tail whip, which I'm not sure if he had this in the original game, but it's nice. I like it. Nice for him to have. Um, and I believe that is it for tails. So they made him, they just gave him a, a bunch of quality of life things, not too many changes. Because ta tails wasn't terrible, right? It's just that he can go past all the, <laughs> all the fucking, um, 
level design. Let's see. I'm going to assume the characters disappear once I pick them, because I do not see... I only see Sonic and Elise here, and I don't see the other ones. So I'm going to click on Start Over here. One thing with Sonic I didn't show off, right, is that when you press Triangle... Well, oh shit, I guess it's not... Is it Circle? Is it Square? Oh, there it is. He has his bounce... His bounce, uh... Works pretty good. It's a little faster. You know? You keep momentum when doing it. That's nice. His air dash is more controllable. It doesn't go all haywire when you use it, so it's nice for, like, a double jump. Uh, circle is his little... You know, his kick. I could have sworn he had something for triangle. Oh, his light speed dash, I think, is mapped to triangle, right? No, it's not. It what the fuck is it mapped to? It's not mapped to triangle? Am I crazy? Isn't his light speed dash mapped to something else? Pretty sure they gave it like a different... Let me try this in the air. Maybe it... It is triangle. Okay. They gave it a better animation and it's triangle. Yep. It's not the same button as fucking the spin dash or the... Or the kick. Right? They assigned them different buttons, which is amazing. Thank you. That's a huge quality of life improvement that they should have had in the original game. I don't know why they didn't, but, you know, it's great. I love it. Uh, let's go fight some robots. The reticle really helps. Gives us nice little flippy-dippy animations. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I can't wait to see what changes they do with Shadow. If, like, Sonic controls so fucking well. He's con he Sonic controls so goddamn good in this game. In this, uh, you know, in this fan project. Like, my- I tip my hat to thee. Like, what the hell? Has no right to be this good. <laughs> you know, and... Hopefully... Hopefully they'll be able to keep making this project. I mean, Sonic Team has always been okay with uh, fan projects and shit. I mean, that's why Sonic Mania is a goddamn thing. And I mean, it's Sonic 06, right? All it is is just sprucing up your game, right? You know. I want to actually head over to that warp point we saw earlier. Because I did not, I did not see any of that shit before. Alright. So this is just more like weather effects and shit. Which, this looks nice. This looks nice, I like this. Here's some slopes that Sonic can go up. Right? So you carry that momentum. Oh shit, let's see if I can get up there. There we go. Look at this shit. I really like... I really like how the reflections are. They're pretty nice. If you can impress me in your game with reflections... It's nice. By the way, I'm pretty sure this doesn't... I'm pretty sure none of this supports any type of ray tracing or anything like that, just in case anyone's wondering. I don't think the creator has gone that crazy. We got our, our loop-de-loop -loop over here. Once you get on it, no matter what you do on your analog stick, you can't stop yourself from going straight. I was trying to see if I can... Huh. Alright. You carry momentum, but gravity is a formidable foe here. That's fun. I'm just so happy that I can properly control where Sonic runs. Right? Like, there's a actual, like, turning radius to him instead of just, like, you know, making right-angle turns and shit.
have no idea where this is taking me. Alright. What the hell is that over there? I wanna know what that little building over there is. How the fuck do I get up there? Let's see. I don't think there's any, uh, spring back here, right? Nope. Uh, there has to be a ramp that takes me up there, right? Oh, here's spring. Oh, is this gold ring? So there you go. Now, we see all this wonderful stuff that they added in here, right? I'm gonna actually lower the volume a bit, because I feel like it's too loud. I'm gonna lower the volume, just a smidge. Um, so they have a, you know, you see the quality of life improvements that they made, but it's easy to talk to talk. Now you gotta walk to walk. Right? Let me just do something real quick on my PC, because I just want to make sure that I'm not having anything go stupid on me. Alright. Now, let's see. Options, here's the settings and stuff like that. Uh, make sure you have VSync on for this. At least, for me, I needed to do that. Because if you don't, uh, the frame rate it's a little choppy out the gate. You gotta have to finagle with some of the uh, settings in, um, in the game, right? Make sure that that's, uh, that's looking nice and dandy. Make sure the game runs well, so check your settings when you try this demo out. Uh, let's see. Gold medal results, which nobody cares about. Trial select. Act select. So... Oh, I believe there's also a uh, setting to, like, increase the, like, the lining borders on the characters, right? Shadow's unavailable, Silver's stuff is unavailable, you only have Sonic and his levels. As of this, as of this build, this is the, uh, Project 06 third build. Again, I, I feel like that's what it is. So, let's just try with Wave Ocean. Simple, right? First things first you're gonna notice is that beautiful loading time. It's not crazy, it's not crazy perfect, but it's still pretty damn good. There's some currents here, to help you get on your pathway. I'm gonna try and go up here, there we go. Some neat animations here and there. I believe they also redid some of the uh, voice lines that, ap that appear in the middle of the level, and I think you can actually turn that off if you don't like them. Which is fine. Ah, fuck. I ran straight towards the wall. Alright. There we go. Run on the wall controls pretty smoothly. Not bad. Sonic controls so goddamn good. <laughs> Like, I'm speechless at it, to be honest. It's like, this is what... This is what 06 could have feel like. Maybe some people won't like the level design of the game, but, you know... Fix the controls up, this is what you get. Now... They add, like, an extra little hop there, I think. And there's some more... Some more, like, water splashes here. From the original. 
All right, Tails, it's up to you. Go close that gate, man. I think they fixed up Tails' model a little bit, too. They gave him, more, like, more reflection in his eyes. Alright. Oh. Let me up the... Let me on the box, damn it. I'm gonna just, just gonna skip all that. Because I'm crazy. And you can't stop me. What's a nice little detail here is that they take the iron gate and they actually put it all the way at the bottom. Because in the original game it didn't do that. And they added, I think they added the A carrier like flying by. I just, did I just pronounce it Caria? Did I say it like that? So here in the Mox B sections, I'm not sure if this was in the original, but you can use your balance bracelet. And, I'm not sure if you can notice it, but you can actually control, you know, where you're kind of going. Which is good. And using the light speed dash to grab some rings doesn't automatically smack you against the wall. But that said, it's still, you know, Mox B sections inherently are like more difficult to control. And that's, that's the point of them. But, uh, overall, you know, it's not fucked up. <laughs> right? I'm gonna go through the, uh, I'm gonna go through here. There we go. In the original game, it'll be hard as fuck to even touch that. Ah, fuck! Now, in the original game, when you ran up on these on this loop-de-loop, -loop, if you hit it at the wrong angle, if you hit it from anything other than the perfect angle, you would just fucking go straight into the water. But they fixed that here, so that's great. And look at that. Pretty awesome. Right? Also, if you didn't notice, they gave uh, Sonic some knockback during the mock speed sections when you smack to walls, right? So that's amazing. They really, you know, they really did a lot. Now, we can't do Dusty Desert because that has Elise, sadly, and with the PS4 controller, that ability is not supported, but we can do White Acropolis, we can do Crisis City, and Flame Core. Uh, Radical Train is pretty good. Tropical Jungle we can't do, Kingdom Valley we should be good for, Aquatic Base should be good, and then there's Tails Extra level that they make you go through twice again, so let's look at White Acropolis real quick. I still love the soundtrack for White Acropolis, you know? Oh, hey, SP. By the way, SP, uh, first of all, how things going with you? Hope it's going fine. And second of all, you're a liar. <laughs> Calling you out. You're a liar, man. Resident Evil 8 isn't scary. Liar. You know what I'm talking about. But, um, here, they, uh, made the snowboarding section and... In here are more controllable, which is nice. Thank you very much for doing that. It's still a little stiff, but it's definitely way more loose than the original game. Which is amazing. I was scared as fuck. <laughs> of course I was scared. It took me like an hour to get through that. I gotta say, Resident Evil 8, that part of the game, is it defeated me. One of the few horror games that literally actually defeated me. But, um, yeah. Snowboard section here is not too bad. They could make it a little bit more loose, but if they if they did, there might be some problems. They also added a, uh, a kick to the snowboard to help you get going so you don't get stuck. Here's the part that I don't like, though. They changed the camera angle here, and it kind of sucks... Right? Because it also inverts your controls. I would rather have it that they showed the camera angle once and not just, you know, just go back to behind the camera for Sonic so you can actually control what the fuck you're doing. So I'm going to die a couple of times here, most likely. Because I'm going to be hitting walls and shit. I can't control where I'm going. That's my only, com that's my only like major complaint for the snowboard section. So maybe in the next, maybe when they make the next demo, they'll uh, fix that up. 
But you know, even if I die, I get to listen to the awesome soundtrack. So, I'm not... I'm not mad about it. Come on, Sonic, don't hit the walls. There we go. Oh! Game freezed a bit. You already beat RE8 with knife only? That's awesome. I won't be able to do that. Yeah, but... They also fixed the, the jump angles for um, the snowboard section. Open this shit. Hey Tails, how's it going? So in the original game, you would run to this spot and Tails would be like, Sonic! But you would never see Tails. So they added him here to have him follow you. Ow. I just straight up got shot by that. Bastard. Fuck it, I am speechless with this, with this demo. I can't, I really can't wait to see what else they do to fix up Sonic 06, because this shit is just fun as fuck. Did I come from that direction? I think I did. Yeah, I did. I think there is a, uh, over here, switch. There we go. Now I gotta get the hell out of this hole. Get out, Sonic. Come on. There you go. All right, Tails, you got this, buddy. Let's see. Do you know, uh, I have a question, SP. Do you know if they're gonna do any DLC for Resident Evil 8? Because I haven't heard anything about that at all. Got some invincibility here. You don't know? Damn. Oh, fuck. I thought that was a... Ah, shit. Let me head up here, get rid of the searchlight. They also changed the hit detection on the searchlights because you had to be like very specific in the original game to even like do anything to them. And overall, the game is just more faster. It would be cool though, yeah. I have a feeling if I, I don't want to say anything too much about Resident Evil 8 because, you know, when I upload this, people may get spoiled, so. So I'm not going to say too much about it, but hopefully, hopefully Resident Evil 8, they do something with the character at the end of it if they do some DLC. Either that or uh, show someone else off. Someone else within that, uh, within that nick of the woods. All right. Get rid of, get rid of you guys. I'm not going to worry about the enemies. There we go. Oh, shit. Do I gotta get rid of the enemies? Fuck. Tails is not the easiest to fight with, but that's fine. That's fine. I can handle it. Oh, shit. You guys are shooting me up. This is why I mean we don't need no fucking dummy rings, because I don't know where the real rings are at. Give me the ring. There we go. Just make it bombs. Just make it- make the animation bombs. You don't have to make dummy rings. Is that what I have to do? Alright, no. There's probably a switch somewhere that I'm just too blind to see. It's probably one of those ice capsules. Tail needs a shotgun right now. <laughs> there we go. I got a- I got- is that a 1-up? I don't even know if that's a 1-up. I don't even think that was a 1-up. What the fuck is that? What do I do? Tails, what do I do to get past here? Oh, I just didn't even see the switch. It's right there. Alright. His bombs also come out pretty fast, too. They don't do that much damage to bigger enemies, though. Which is weird, because they're fucking bombs! What the fuck? Oh, there's a switch here. Alright. Ow, fuck. Went straight into a spike. 
Right, Sonic, you can do it. <laughs> Up here. I love... I really love the changes they made to the home and dash. Because I feel more confident. And not killing myself. <laughs> Mamma Mia Mario. Oh, man. Speaking of Mario, I gotta play Bowser's Fury at some point. I don't... I gotta... Well, first of all, I gotta buy that game, right? I want it, but at the same time, I don't want it that badly. There we go. Excuse me. Come through. With Sonic, big enemies are no problem, because you can just use that bounce bracelet. Makes easy work of those guys. Yeah, but I heard a lot of good things about, um... About... Fuck. <laughs> almost killed myself. About, um, whatchamacallit? Mario, uh... Mario 3D World Bowser's Fury. Or Bowser's Furry, as some people like to call it. Yeah, Nintendo games are pretty fucking expensive. Straight up. For some reason, Nintendo, like... I wish there was an actual reason... I got an S rank, nice. I wish there was a... I just hit my fucking microphone. I wish there was an actual reason why Nintendo games were, uh... Were, like, $60, but there is no actual reason. They just... You know, they just... They feel like they deserve it. Which is the same bullshit that we're getting right now with, like, $70 games where they're like... We deserve it. Meanwhile, Resident Evil 8 just came out, and that was a $60 game. But then you got a game like... This is a bad example to use, but you have a game like fucking Returnal, which is $70. Now, to their defense, the team making Returnal didn't know it was going to be $70. They thought they were selling the game for $20, because Sony never told them they were selling it for $70. So, in their defense, that's what they have. But still, you know? It's like, come on, guys. What's going on here? <laughs> Bowser is a furry. Bowser becomes a furry by the end of 3D World. He's like, oh, man, what's this cat power up you guys got here? It's pretty cool looking. All right. Let's head into Crisis City, one of the most abysmal levels to deal with in Sonic 06. But with the new changes, it's actually not that bad. They also added this nice little cutscene in front of it. <laughs> That's funny. It is funny, but it's also one of the most badass moments ever in Mario. Because, like, you know, if you ever play Mario 3D Land on the 3DS, uh, there's, like, this moment where, you know, at the end of the game, Bowser's, like, chasing you and shit, and it's crazy. A bunch of shit's happening. It's, like, this nice cinematic piece. Uh, but... But in, um, 3D World... Bowser's just like, fuck it, I'm gonna use your own power up against you, bitch. And then he's just doing so much that you're just like, why don't you do this all the time, Bowser? What the fuck, man? God, this control's so good. <laughs> this control is way better. <laughs> I have nothing to say about it besides it's good. Alright? I'm gonna get myself killed, though, if I don't get no rings. There we go. I don't understand. I don't understand. How can how can one person make Sonic make us make a good Sonic game out of take a bad Sonic game, make it a pretty good Sonic game? One person. But a whole team can't do this in a span of three years? Come on. It's a sad thing really when you think about it. Keep it going, Sonic. <laughs> you just noticed that, Sonic? The whole city's on fire! Whoa! There we go. Let's see. Only thing Nintendo has... has, uh, guaranteed is more Mario next year. <laughs> In the next 10 years. I mean, they also got Zelda, right? 
I feel like I'm the only person who doesn't give a fuck about Breath of the Wild 2. You know? Like, Breath of the Wild isn't a bad game, but it sure as fuck wasn't a good... Well, let me, let me take that back. It was a good game, but it wasn't interesting. It was pretty bland. And weapon degradation fucking sucks. I don't know why they did that. Also, I don't want to get 50 Korok Seeds till I get one slot in my goddamn weapon or shields, or armor, for that matter. It's like, what the hell, guys? There's so many things they could have done, too. Which is the real sad part. There's also no real dungeons in that game besides Hyrule Castle. You know? There's no good music in that game. I don't give a fuck what anybody says about no soundtrack. The only song I remember is the Hyrule Castle theme. Which is nothing special. I mean, it was special, but... It was a good theme in that game, but still. It's like it's Hyrule Castle. You expect that in any Zelda game. You know, it was just kind of... Kind of lackluster. The story wasn't that good. The best part about the stories wasn't even the main story shit. It was like when you pick up the memories and stuff. Right? Like, I had more fun with that. Alright, Sonic, don't fuck this up now. Control's great. I love it. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I almost killed myself. Oh! Almost killed myself again, but that's okay. We got this. Oh, come on, Sonic. That was supposed to kill that. Up here you go. There you go. Alright, let me grab this checkpoint. Oh, hey, Breezy. How's it going? <laughs> Welcome to the stream that wasn't planned. Oh, by the way, heads up, guys. Uh, I'm only streaming this because Sonic had its, like, little live stream thing, like, an hour ago. And I'll be honest, it was really nothing that special. They announced... They showed a very vague trailer for a new Sonic game, and the only other thing that's worth talking about is that Sonic Colors is getting an HD version. Finally. Other than that, it's just shit people already knew. But, uh, whatchamacallit. But tonight, at the regular timing, we're gonna head back to Phoenix Wright, because I'm gonna have time to do that. Alright. Oh, fuck! Oh, no! Shit! <laughs> I'm good, thanks. Alright, let's not die this time. Oh! Uh, damn it! This is the first time I really struggle that much with this. Usually it doesn't bother me that much. Oh shit. Come on, come on. Give me like some rings or something to speed up. There you go. Definitely fucking clip through that one. I'm surprised that I, that I can actually control Sonic in this. I say right as I almost walk off the fucking ledge. <laughs> Just start teetering near the ledge. Just like, I can control Sonic, and then right off the edge you go. The first actual Sonic game where he controls well. It's not made by Sega? Wow. It's crazy. Alright. Other levels we got that we can do. There's Flame Core. I don't even. I'm not even sure if I want to do Flame Core. Fuck it, I get. Why not? Fuck it. Flame Core is definitely one of my least favorite levels. But you know what? Maybe they'll make it good. What the fuck? Where did you- you weren't here in the original? <laughs> what kind of bullshit was that? You said, where you're going, motherfucker? You gotta pay the toll. Fucking Charmeleon ass, looking ass, wannabe. Alright, let's see. How much... 
crazy shit we can do here. Oh! Alright, whoa! I was supposed to have some control there. What happened, Sonic? What was that? Can I reach that monster now? I sure as fuck can. Get my rings back. There we go. Looking good. That's a new voice line. Someone tucks some. Someone works some movie magic there, right? They said just take some of his some of his dialogue, mesh it together. Perfect. Or you can just you know bounce on it and kill it. They also redid some of the music. They have like nice remixes in here. I like that. That's pretty good. Oh, fuck. Went right past the ring. I don't even have to worry about the footholds. Now, I think I can spin jump across this without having to worry too much. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Went a little too fast. Sonic going too fast? Who would have thought? Look at that. That's what you're supposed to do in a Sonic- Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do in a Sonic game. Just skip half the damn level. It's the right thing to do. Oh, shit. Where's the other guys? There we go. The other guys. That's a good movie. I recommend it. It's a fun little watch. Will Pharaoh and, and the other guy. <laughs> Which I don't remember the name of. <laughs> you have like two seconds of Samuel L. Jackson and fucking, you know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Dwayne The Brick Johnson. Dwayne The Boulder Johnson. Fucking aim for the bushes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, what the fuck? No, you son of a bitch. He got hit by the meteor. The enemy got killed by the meteor and I couldn't, oh fuck, why did I do that? Why did I do that? The enemy got killed by the meteor and I couldn't homing dash off of it. Homing dash? No. Let's go, homing attack, yeah. Homing dash. Homie dash. Alright. Oh shit. <laughs> Just stand right there. It's fine. Don't worry about it. The fire won't hurt you. You're immune, Sonic. Alright. Don't die this time from the fucking fire. Please, for fuck's sake. There we go. The slowest spin dash ever. Are they gonna make me fight the boss? I don't wanna fight the boss. I really hope they don't make me fight no bosses. I don't think they will. They probably still have to work on that. Ow. Just completely ate that, but that's okay. Give me some rings. There we go. Nice. Get a little bit of invincibility. I'll take that. His fucking war cry. Wow, that was weird. Let's see. Is this where I control Knuckles? <laughs> he saw the little... The energy thing just spinning around me, didn't know what to do. So, there's some crazy shit going on here. Hit the enemy, Sonic. There you go. 
Oh fuck. I almost killed myself. Can't see what the fuck I'm doing. I should hit the stuff for- oh, those were spikes. I thought they were like weird cave flowers. Cave flowers. I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't have done that, but I did it. What? That didn't activate the switch. I can see! Never mind, I can't see. I thought I'd be able to. Now I can see. Look at all this shit. What's happening, Knuckles? Alright. I gotta punch these. Light them up. Motherfucker, hype. Fuck you. There we go. Alright. Knuckles controls way better. Now he has a good fighting chance for dealing with these enemies. Where's the last orb? Am I missing one? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? We're working on a timer here. Oh, it's up there. I think that's it, right? No, that's it. There we go. Oh! They show you now when it's open instead of just cutting away. That's nice. Thank you, Knuckles. And that's it for Knuckles! Sadly. The only, like, one out of two times you play as him in this fucking game. I feel so bad. I feel so bad for Knuckles. Oh, fuck! What the hell, Sonic? Damn it! Good thing I got that checkpoint. Just went walking right off the edge. Oh, again? No! <laughs> Alright. Let's try not doing that now. You know what? Let's not let's not touch anything. Let the game do it. There we go. Just running right off the edge. See, we all know it. Sonic secretly wants it to end. He wants to end it all. He's like, just let me die already, please. I can't take it no more. Fuck. There's my ring. Mission complete. Best run ever. That's one for the history books. You don't remember this lore? <laughs> See, the lore is... Here's the official Sonic lore. One day there was a hedgehog. He was blue. And then he met a fox who was a crybaby. They became best friends. Then there was this echidna who's grumpy. And then they're like, stop being grumpy. He's like, okay, I'll stop being grumpy. And then, he's their friend now, but he's not Let's real. You know, he's not- He's their friend, but he's- He's one of those friends that's like, I'm not your friend. But I like you though, you're my friend. Right? And that's Sonic Tails and Knuckles. And then, uh... You know... Every day, he was a portly man named Eggman. He's like, we gotta stop- He's like, I gotta- I gotta kill Sonic, but not really, cause if I- Because I'm the only human in this world. Oh my god, I just killed myself. <laughs> He's like, I'm the only human in this world, and if Sonic is dead, then I have nothing else to do. No one to love me. So that's why he never kills Sonic. But somehow he always manages to, like, sneak into his house and, like, fuck with them. You know, it'd be real easy just to slit his throat in his sleep. And yeah, every day Sonic wakes up. He eats a chili dog, and then, and then he just, you know, he gets in more, he's just like, Ugh, why do I still live just to suffer? I want to die. <laughs> That's the only reason Sonic eats chili dogs. He's just trying to, like, kill himself faster by just having a shit ton of cholesterol in his bloodstream. Oh, no! This went dark pretty fast. <laughs> You think that went dark pretty fast? Read the Sonic comics. Everything goes dark pretty fast. Even after Pinders fucking suit the shit out of them. Pinders... Pinders is a jackass. No one likes Pinders. Not even Sonic fans. You know? 
I mean, Sonic fans are supposed to not like Penders, but still. Even if you're not a Sonic fan, you won't like Penders. He's just a fucking weirdo. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's not... Let's not fuck this up. Come on. This is like the one time that I won't really... Oh, shit. Where's the switch? Fuck and fuck. Where's the switch? Out of my way. Where's the switch? She's gonna die. Where's the switch? Ah! That got dark pretty fast. <laughs> and then the princess died. Again, why is Eggman putting her on the train with bombs if he needs her? I don't know. Sonic, on that day, Sonic wasn't fast enough, sadly. They remind him of his, of his fucking high school prom. But on that day, he was a bit too fast, if you catch my drift. Sally wasn't impressed. And then Amy was just happy to be there. <laughs> Amy fu Amy's, Amy's official canon is that she was too young and then she grabbed the fucking, what she grabbed? The emeralds or some shit? I forgot what she did. She did something and wished herself to be older so she can date Sonic. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what is that? Where the fuck is the switch? You lying bitch! <laughs> did I get a game over? Fuck. My mouse was there the whole time, too. That was the sad part about that. That's what really saddens me. Well, that was Radical Train. I'm not gonna do that shit again. <laughs> Alright, we can't do Tropical Jungle, because that's an Elise mission and the triggers don't work. And then we have Aquatic Base in Kingdom Valley. I still love Kingdom Valley. I still think it's, like, one of the most diverse uh, stages in the game. Silver, we don't have time. Oh fuck, I forgot silver's in this one. Shit. So I'm not gonna be able to use the triggers for silver either. God damn it. What? What the hell? <laughs> Gotta go fast. Gotta go at a moderate speed. Ow. He just shot me with the world's slowest pew pew gun. Look at all those rings I'm missing. My bad, I keep calling them rings. I forgot to call them by their official names. Cheerios. <laughs> that was lucky, huh, Sonic? You almost got killed. Oh man, that would have been a... Man. And then the world cried that day because Sonic wasn't killed. Take me away, Great Eagle of Destiny. Fuck you, enemies. I wish there was a way for them to... I wish there was a way for them to, like, make a Sonic game where, like, enemies actually mattered, but not the way they did it in, like, Sonic Heroes and shit. Where, like, enemies just took forever to fucking kill. Or Sonic... Or Sonic Boom. <laughs> Where that was just, that was just a garbage ass game. <laughs> bad game, bad game, Sonic Boom. Bad game on you. You treat it like a dog. You rub its face in it. And you say, don't ever do that again. There you go. Up and at him, Sonic. Alright, where the fuck is the, uh, there he is. <laughs> it's a, it's a Sonic in the Black Knight reference or or Sonic Riders reference. I don't know. <laughs> Balance of Sonic eats chili dogs. Collect heart healthy Cheerios. You know what? You know what it is. Sonic wakes up every morning. He tries to kill himself with chili dogs, but then in order to defeat Eggman, he has to collect the Cheerios. So he's like sad every time he picks one up. What the fuck? 
What just happened? <laughs> I just blatantly missed that. Okay. Yeah, but he just gets sad every time he collects a Cheerio. And he's just like, oh, come on. <laughs> well, at least they at least they had a fail safe here for fucking up. That was cool. So like back to square one every day. He's just he's just tired of it. <laughs> he's like, if only he's like, if only my life expectancy was as fast as I ran. And right here, Silver. I can't use his levitate shit because I'm gonna end up killing myself, but here it is, you know? They gave him a nice little reticle for it. It's very finic uh, finicky, right? Because, again, I'm using a PS4 controller for this. And it's not fully supported. Some slow-ass missiles. But for silver, if you have an object in your hand, right? If you're using a PS4 controller like me. Ah, oh, fucking hell. There we go. If you have uh, an object in your hand, if you move forward and press the trigger, he'll most likely drop it. There we go. Right? Instead of just holding the trigger like it's supposed to, but hopefully the next build of the game, they will, uh, they will have it so that, you know, you can... I need to use my psychic powers to break this shit open. And now it's there permanently. Unless I pick something up, move around, and there you go. Hopefully they officially support PS4 controllers later on. But until then, we have our Psychic Blast. So it's nice that I got that. I totally forgot I had to play as Silver in this fucking level. Instantly forgot. They also fixed his, uh... His teleport, right? Quote unquote teleport, but now it's a super dash. It was never a teleport in the original game either. It was just like a real shitty super dash. They also made his levitation faster, which is nice. Hello, sirs. Excuse me. There we go. Up here. Put, put them down. Put them down, Silver. There you go. Can I just get past... I don't think I can get past this guy. I think I gotta kill him. Pick him up. There you go. And then there's this that I gotta use. What really sucks is that I can get stuck on this because the trigger doesn't work properly. There we go. If only they had PS4 controller support, you know? Up there, Silver, come on. I don't want to overjump it and kill myself. I'll take, care of all of you. I'll take care of all of you. I'm Silver the Hedgehog. I came from the future. I don't know why I'm making fun of him. I love Silver. I don't know why I make fun of him so much. He's just... I love him, but he's also stupid. I'm just gonna blast them. There you go. <laughs> Problem solved. Oh, I hate using my power. It sucks that I have. Where's the fucking stair? Is it behind me? I can't control the camera, so I don't know. Is it in front? Oh, it's in front of me. Did you ever think that the guy screaming in the soundtrack like stubbed his toe or some shit? <laughs> they were like, "All right, for this next part of the soundtrack, we're gonna need you to s we're gonna need you to sing like these awesome lyrics." And then he stubs his toe and he gets that. And they're like, "Never mind, keep that. That's the better take." <laughs> uh oh, Crash Four. It's a game that's stupidly difficult sometimes. Get 106% and then crash talks. Wow. Oh, fuck. I'm surprised I didn't kill myself doing that. Alright, don't miss the fucking railway this time. Oh, I could've- I could've jumped through that ring. Damn it. I'm actually disappointed that I didn't. I'm kinda sad now.
What? <laughs> no sweat. Not for me. Except for when I try to kill myself in the morning. Oh, what the hell? I didn't even touch the steps. Started crumbling. I looked at it. I can go. Ah, oh, damn it. I wanted to get it. I wanted to get the ring. I couldn't. What, what happened to the. What happened to the air? <laughs> the air actually became air this time. Did I go backwards? What? I went backwards. <laughs> Maybe I can actually hit the circle this time. There you go. Beautiful. All right, what the hell am I doing here? What? Checkpoints already hit? What the fuck? Son of a bitch, I went backwards again. What the fuck just happened? Uh, uh. I can make it. I can do it. I got it. It's fine, it's okay. Was I supposed to go th I don't I don't even know what the hell I'm doing anymore. So I didn't go backwards. It just it just felt like I went backwards. That was so confusing. <laughs> what the hell? Right into the drink. If Sonic's really trying to end himself every morning, then is Eggman trying to help him, <laughs> but is conflicted with his own personal needs? No, the problem is that Eggman, Eggman wakes up and he's all like, I can't wait to kill Sonic today. But every time he has, like what happens is that when Sonic gets to Eggman, he doesn't even try. He just kind of stands there and just go, eh, Eggman, you got me. And then Eggman thinks about it and he's all like, he's like, I can kill Sonic right now. But if I do, then I have nothing else to do. Who's going to come and try and stop me, Knuckles? All I have to do is tell him I'm a good guy and he'll believe me. Shadow doesn't care. He's too busy cutting himself. Rouge doesn't care as long as, long as she can steal shit. <laughs> Tails is a bitch without Sonic around, so... <laughs> he just, like... Sonic literally just sits there and he goes, he goes, Oh no, I can't do nothing. Eggman. And then Eggman just goes like, you defeated me, Sonic! And then fucking blows himself up or something. I'll get you one day, you pesky hedgehog. <laughs> Reading into this too much. Eggman can kill Sonic at any time. Eggman's just too lonely to do it. The one time Eggman actually had a chance to be a villain was during Sonic Generations where like the old Sonic showed up and you know he was like happy little fat Sonic and he's like finally someone who cares. But then like the older Eggman showed up <laughs> so he really didn't care about the newer Eggman. I think Sonic's just, like, constantly sad that Shadow canonically never chose the evil ending, where he takes a gun and just shoots Sonic in the back. <laughs> I'll never forget- I'll never forget when they announced Shadow the Hedgehog, the fucking trailer's playing, and you see Sonic drop to the ground, and Shadow's behind him with a gun, and I'm like, whoa! I'm like, what the fuck just happened? Exactly, Sonic, I was like, whoa! Oh, what the fuck? I'm really goofing this up. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll never forget that. I was like, whoa, did Sonic just like off shadow and like cold blood? What the fuck was that? And then you play the game and then you're like really sad because Shadow of the Hedgehog is a shitty game. <laughs> It's a shitty game, but I think I I think I rather play it. I rather play Shadow the Hedgehog than fucking Heroes. At least I can have a laugh with Shadow the Hedgehog, you know. Heroes is just so long. <laughs> oh, 
All right. We're here now. Nice. That's a lot of enemies. That's nice. They put a nice, a nice little in-game thing here. Because before, you just hear Silver's voice. He's like, Sonic, leave it to me. And then the door was just open. All right, let's not fuck this up. Ow. Instantly. Instantly get myself killed. Oh, come on. Get, get some Cheerios, Sonic. You're going to die if you don't. Fuck. <laughs> Cartoonishly just face plant against a wall. <laughs> Oh shit! I jumped too high. That was too high of a jump. That was my fault. Alright, small jump. Small jump. I, I said small jump. Fuck it. Damn it. I got three lives. I can do this. No problem. No sweat. Piece of cake. You know, just gotta get the, gotta get my mulligans out the way. I really like this area. This area is nice and beautiful. Ow, what the fu- oh, that was a- <laughs> I was like, what the hell just happened? I ran straight into a bomb box. Lovely. Remember in Sonic, like the Sonic TV show where they're like, Sonic can't swim, and the answer is just like, why don't, why doesn't he just jump, run across the water, like, all the time? Oh, shit. There we go. Oh. See, that wasn't too bad. That was actually, that was just like a straight line. <laughs> just shimmy to the left, shimmy to the right. Man, it's fine. Hey, got that D. That's all we ever wanted. That sweet D. Let's get going. <laughs> Let's get going. All right. And then we got Aquatic Base. And we're not going to do Tails level because it's just fucking New Wave again. Bootleg and Emerald Coast. Oh. Let's hurry. That's some nice lighting effects. Was that in the original? I don't even think it was. And the music sounds like it's redone, too. Oh, look at... Listen to that fucking soundtrack. Oh, God. I love it. It's too good. Come on, team. Let's go. You know what? I heard you, Sonic. I just didn't comprehend you. Knuckles and Tails just ended it. They just said, ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> we don't get paid enough for this shit. Ow. Wow, Tails. I wonder who the fuck axed. Because it sure as hell wasn't me. That's for damn sure. Fucking Tails is like one of those like <laughs> it's one of those people <laughs> who just like <laughs> like every time they find out something new they just can't wait to share someone and when you ask them like why why are you even <laughs> you just go like why does it even matter Tails and he's like because I'm interested in things and then you go wow geez Tails can you be even more of a 
<laughs> annoying little douchebag. By the way, the water has more reflection here, so much so that I was actually scared to step on it because I thought I was going to die. <laughs> here lies Tails of being in a rip. <laughs> Tail you know what? Tails is one of those people where, like, you know, you know, he, he t like, Sonic makes some chili dogs, Tail takes some without accident, Sonic goes, come on, Tails, those were mines, and then Tail goes, like, Sonic, mines isn't a word. He's one of those people. He just kick him in his little fucking teeth. His little fangs. Can you get up there? How the fuck can you guys teleport up here? Why can't I do that? Why can't I? Oh, I gotta kill the enemy. Shit. I was surprised those lasers didn't do shit to me, but... You know, I can't complain. Whoa! <laughs> what just happened? Go, Sonic, go. Shut the fuck up. Be careful not to fall. What the hell you think I'm gonna do? So, in the original game, this thing... Oh, I'm gonna fuck this up completely. Okay. In the original game, this thing was, like, kind of hard to control, because, like, it would carry... O it would, like, have too much momentum, but now you can you can control it pretty good. Oh! Tails, help! You know, Tails, you could have just flew me over. Lazy piece of shit. Remember in Sonic 2, Tails would just pick you up and fly you over places? He doesn't do that no more. I mean, to be fair, Sonic has put on a couple of pounds. <laughs> also, what an asshole Tails is. You have Tails and Knuckles, two characters who can basically fly, and he's like, hey, Be careful not to fall, Sonic! Like, fuck you. Like, really? You piece of shit. Tails, you'd be nothing without me. You know the tornado? The plane that you're always fucking with? That's my plane. I own that shit. You don't own it. That's right. You work on my shit. For me. <laughs> you have nothing, Tails. Nothing. Ow! Oh wow, you ate that like a fucking champ. Die. Here's your reward. Death. Oh shit, where am I going? Where am I going? Oh no! Too much momentum! Where the fuck? Whoa, I never noticed it before, Tails. Thanks for being the pretty perceptive there, buddy. Oh god, there's so many fucking missiles. <laughs> the timing gone shaming tails and he gets hit by a laser. <laughs> tails is the friend that constantly tries to talk Sonic out of wanting to kill himself. And Knuckles is the one who's like cheering on in the background. He's like he's like, yeah. He's like, listen, if he wants to kill himself, let him do it. I say, I say the less the merrier. Tails is secretly working with Eggman. He's like, listen, man, I know. Sonic just hasn't been himself the past couple of years, okay? Give him a break. And then and Eggman's like, give him a break. Give me a break. I gotta pretend to want to kill this guy. He's not making it easy. Oh, do I gotta kill the fucking enemies? Damn it. I don't want to kill the enemies. There you go. You know, I can play as Knuckles during this part. That'd be nice. You know, Knuckles the fighter. But nah, let Tails throw bombs everywhere. It's, it's cool. Knuckles, why are you here? <laughs> if you're doing jack and shit...
Alright, where the hell am I going now? Thank you, Tails. You were a big help. Damn it! What magnet? What magnet are you talking about? What switch? Nintendo Switch? If I attack the- you talking about this? Like this small thing right here? Oh. Yeah? What about it? I think I gotta kill the robots, right? Come on, can you hit the damn rope? Thank you. Go. Alright. Is that all of them? Alright, back up here. I think this should be oh oh what the fuck? Oh that's where I came from, I think. At some point, maybe. This is where I'm going? No. Where the fuck am I going? I'm getting flipped turned upside down. Oh shit, my headset's dying. That's not good. Where the fuck? This way? Oh, what the hell, camera? What was that about? Alright, up here, and then behind me. Oh my fucking god, I'm gonna lose it. Fucking hell. Oh, it's not this door. Fuck. Then I guess it's the other... It's the other one, then. Guess I gotta get up here. Up. Oh, up and at him, Sonic. Nope, not this one. Where the fuck? Is that one over there? Or is it this one? Oh, it's this one. Then why did he react to the other door? What was that about? I went to the other door, he's like, oh man, it won't open. Oh, that was nice, I like that. My headshot should die in like, about two minutes from now. Not even two minutes, probably like 15 seconds. Fuck! What just happened? What? I think I landed on an air current. <laughs> it's been a while, I don't remember too much about this game. I don't even remember this area. Oh, come on. I missed one. Alright. There was an air current, right? Fuck, what? Now there's not an air current? What's going on? Make up your mind, game. Ow. Alright, let's not fuck it up this time. Stick the landing. Perfect. Get me the fuck out of here. Checkpoint. Ah, fucking hell. Shit, I'm trying to slide under it. I pushed it. You lied to me, Tails. Path did not open. Get some height. There we go. How about a little help? Sonic, we're out of time. Get on this ball. I'll take care of the rest. Yay, Knuckles, you get to do things. You get to punch things. I love Knuckles. He's a simple dude. He punches. And he and he runs and he and he glides. 
And that's all you need to know. Is there a switch I got? What the fuck? You're still alive? Oh, there's a switch over there. Oh no, that's not a switch. That's like an invincibility thing. I guess there's a switch at the end. Can you climb this? Thank you. Press and hold the B button, then release it to a bomb a screwdriver. It's a holding attack for traps. Bring it on. I'll take them all down. I'll take them all down, except for the ones that I passed along the way and left to fucking Sonic and Tails as I sat there with my spiky thumbs up my ass. Oh, I can jump on it. Oh, that's cool. That wasn't in the original. Oh, what the hell, Knuckles? You're supposed to lock on to the enemy. Liar. I don't know, Knuckles. That's what we're looking for, okay? Found the switch. There's the switch. We turned off the laser. Whoa, what the f <laughs> I over jumped it? Was that oh my god, I got a game over from that. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm used to like I'm used to Sonic 06 just magnetizing me to areas where I need to be. Oh man, I kinda wanna do that again. I feel bad that I got a game Let's over on that. But that's too long that's too long of a level. <laughs> it's too long of a level. Fuck! Anyways, well, that was Project 06. Fucking, you know, it's good. I like it. The guy, the guy or girl working on this, or, you know, they, them, working on this is uh, doing a wonderful job. And I hope they keep up the work, right? Can't wait to see what changes they make with, I don't even think, you know what? I don't even think they'll make any changes to Blaze's playstyle because Blaze was already pretty good in the original. Maybe just like tighten it up a bit more. But, um. But, you know. Can't wait to see what they do at Rouge and Shadow. And Omega, too. I forgot Omega's playable. And maybe, you know, maybe if they have some time, they might just add in couple of fun playable characters or some bullshit who knows can't wait to see what they do to rework some of the boss fights because you know maybe maybe they'll just speed them up because boss fights are kind of slow or make it so that it's make it so that it's not as egregious to fight them I guess you know have an actual good build of Sonic of Sonic 06 and then they can finally uh Oh, that was cool. They added a nice little note at the end of that. That that never had like an ending to like the power up music. That was nice. But um, you know, there's a lot they can do. I also want to see what they do to the uh to the like towns, right? There's not much to do there, but maybe they'll uh add some more like waypoints or something for like fast travel or something like that, or maybe make it so that you can at least switch characters you're playing as or some bullshit get rid of some load times here and there that doesn't need to be there. You fucking talk to an NPC and then they're like, help me, Sonic, and then you go through another load time. It's ridiculous. But yeah. And maybe, maybe somehow give Knuckles some more playtime. I don't know. You only play it some two times in the whole entire fucking game. It's kind of sad. Because we love Knuckles. He's the best. He's cooler than Shadow. That's right, I said it. They should give Knuckles another game. Give him his own game again. Chaotix was weird. But give him like a give him another game. He needs it. We all love Knuckles. And we want nothing but the best for our hard-headed stupid boy. We love him. His fuck we love Knuckles and his goddamn Lego shoes. What a freak. <laughs> what a freak Knuckles is. Hey Knuckles, shouldn't you protect it? Shouldn't you be protecting that emerald on the island? Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? I'm never there. Somehow it always gets stolen. I'm like, fuck, they took my emerald again. You know? Maybe Knuckles just having a hard time because he was nuked as a baby. <laughs> 
Before he was born, bef before Knuckles came out into the world, he was nuked. Super radiate the baby, throw it in the microwave. <laughs> and then <laughs> his dad radiates him. His and his dad's wife just goes, you did what to my child? He's like, yeah, I threw him and I gave him like super radiation. Now he's a super guy. Now he's a super echidna. But he's dumb as rocks, though. <laughs> oh, man. We love you, Knuckles. We love you. All right. So that's Sonic 06, Project 06. Uh, hopefully Sega doesn't DMCA at 06. Maybe make it a better game, 06. You know? What the fuck is happening down there? You guys are blowing shit up over here. I can hit enemies by gliding into them, too? Oh my god, I didn't even know that. What the fuck? It's just... It's just the project that keeps on giving. I love it. I don't ever want to stop playing it. It's just... It's a Sonic game that feels good, and I feel so happy about it. I do. I really do. Alright. We're done here. Later tonight, at the usual times. Uh, we're, we're moving, we're continuing with Phoenix Wright. And, yeah, Resident what Evil 8. To do, what to do. Listen, motherfucker, I'm talking to you. Right? <laughs> but, um, we're, we're finish. Uh, not finishing up Phoenix Wright, but we're gonna attempt to finish Phoenix Wright tonight. Probably won't, probably gonna take, like, two more streams. Um, but Phoenix Wright tonight. Right, gonna do that. And once we're done with Phoenix Wright, we're gonna continue with Conception and shit. And then, uh, and then after that, I would like to start for the summer. I think I would like to start doing some, uh, some RPGs. I'm gonna, for summer, we're gonna be having RPG galores, but we're gonna be having different types of RPGs. We're gonna have, like, a, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and, like, balance it out. Have, like, a Western RPG, a JRPG, and then a more, like, more, like, kid-friendly RPG, right? So there's three different flavors of RPG. And not all of them is fucking high school anime teenager fighting God <laughs> or some shit. But yeah. So that's what the plans are for now. RE8 is done. Uh, sometime this week I'm going to start. I'm finally going to start uploading the past playthrough. So that means the playthrough for Uncharted, Sonic 06, fucking... Uh, what other playthroughs am I holding on? Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 7, and Resident Evil 8. Those are going to be going up on YouTube sometime within this week or the weekend or something. You know, my schedule is pretty fucked up. Right? All because my work is just... My job is being a pain in the ass to me. But that's okay. At least I'm getting paid for it. Yeah, but we're done here. People who watch live, thank you. For those watching about, thank you. For those on YouTube, thank you. This is a shitty outro. Because I'm tired and I'm hungry. And I'm going to... Make some... I can't wait, to get going. I can't wait for you to shut up. <laughs> and I'm gonna go make some... Chicken wings for dinner. I gotta go work on that. So... Once again... Thank you guys for coming. And as always... I'll see you in the next episode next episode and the next video all right you're pissing me off knuckles <laughs> i'll see you in the next video and if it's your birthday today happy birthday take it easy treat yourself right and yeah that's it stay happy stay healthy and take care i'm a chef, chef too.